gourmet hamburger meat that we bought. This was like last summer. I think we were in here messing around and we ground a bunch of filet scraps. So they said they want something even better. So what we're about to do is we're going to take this filet or we might take another whole filet right. and we're going to cut the whole loin up and we're going to grind it. The whole filet with all of this prime ribeye fat from all these ribeyes we cut so the idea, these guys are, they come into town, I guess several times a month. And uh, the one guy, him and his brother have a bet going on who can get the better ground meat, what kind of burgers they're gonna make or whatever. So this is one of our customers. He, uh, they normally come in and get buy, they'll buy like six of the big tomahawk ribeyes. Well now they're in a competition with each other. So we're gonna hook him up. And I told him, I said, look, We'll take a whole filet loin, which doesn't have a lot of fat on it, but we'll take that whole filet loin, cut it, grind it, and add a bunch of ribeye fat to it. So uh, we're about to do that right now, and then we'll show you what those hamburger patties look like, but that should be completely out of sight. Outrageous cheeseburger. Maybe we even have time to cook one. There's a little uh, one o'clock snack here at the butcher shop. Yeah, well, I'm just saying, this is steak, you know, this is, this is give this to your wife with a lobster tail on date night kind of stuff. And we're about to grind it up and make a cheeseburger. <laughs> so we, uh, you know, I told my buddy, I said, look, if you want to beat your brother, we can do the ground brisket, maybe add a little ribeye fat to it, or if you really just want to hedge the bet, just buy a whole filet. It's like 20 bucks a pound, whatever it is. Buy the whole filet, we're gonna sell it to him at cost, we're gonna grind this thing, and then we are going to really push him across the finish line. So we got prime filet cut up, right? Mouth water and steaks chopped into chunks, and then we are going to grind Let's see here. About an extra third. Does that look like about a third, Scott? Right there. All right, so we're about to stick this stuff in the grinder and wait till you see this ground meat. Boston butts yeah. and beef make a combo, but 
you know, we'll film this. This is coming up. My son and I have been invited on a deer hunt to a friend of ours camp and uh, really nice camp. They have uh, their marine, their wildlife biologist has uh, has told them they need to take out some more female deer for the herd. So we're going to bring my little boy up there. And what we're going to do, hopefully, is same thing. Bring some steaks with us, cook that night. We're going to take that venison and maybe we can do a follow up. We'll bring that venison back to the butcher shop, grind it, and we're going to make three or four different types of blends with both venison and pork and then venison and steak. Brisket and ribeye and venison. And that's going to be a really cool episode. But look at this meat. So now we're going to take this. <coughs> Joey, come look at this. Maybe we can make a little sample burger here. And now we're going to take it. And we're just going to blend it. Mix it. And uh, I can tell you, I, you know, I watch a lot of cooking shows. I've never seen somebody grind a whole filet. Yeah. And they were no, you know, if you notice that tenderloin, we had already taken or we had bought that loin without all the fat and scrap. So that was a trimmed tenderloin. Literally, that's what that's what your steakhouses order when they cut their steaks because they just cut their steaks. They're not trimming the silver skin and all the fat. But look at this. Man, that is gonna we, be crazy. We always trim, uh, uh, grind up uh, prime briskets. I mean, that's a common thing for us, but Filet is a little something a little special. You know? Should we uh, cook a little one real quick? Sample it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Yeah, I mean they need. Uh, he needed five pounds or ten. We're gonna make ten eight ounce burgers. This is a little more than ten pounds, but let's we're gonna cook a little one. Look at that. That. That's a eat. cheeseburger right there. Right there. Maybe we could start this, uh, I don't know, the Blind Tiger, that's a, <laughs> probably a $40 hamburger. Put that over a wind grill, like you said. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, Joey, check this out. You look kind of good, Joey. Yeah, All right, that's going to be a little snack. And then I'm going to make my ground meatballs over here. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't even, I don't know how he can't win the... The brother versus brother. I think the brother's going to Whole Foods or something and getting some of this grass-fed beef or whatever he's got going on. But I can tell you this. He's not going to win. Our boy's got this one in the bag here. I mean, look at that. This could, you know, this could probably start a whole new restaurant concept. You could do a, literally a prime steak burger. Might be a hell of an idea there. Prime steak burgers. What do y'all have? Oh, we have filet mignon burgers with black Angus ribeye fat. Jesus, this looks good. Let's go see that on the Scott, you got that guy on the flat top yet? All right, so we do have some extra here. That's uh, Go ahead. that's roughly 10, one, two, three, four, seven, nine. That's 10 eight ounce filet beef tenderloin burgers. And we're gonna bag these up for my buddy and have him come pick them up. We'll let you know how that works. But uh, I guess since we have this extra, we're gonna go on ahead and we're gonna grill a couple too and maybe some smaller ones and let people try it. Yeah. Oh. Look at that guy. You know what's going to be funny? I've never, I don't know why. I mean, we've ground up scraps before. You know, ribeye scraps, filet scraps, New York strip scraps, brisket, whatever. But I mean, I've been doing this 20 something years and I've never done just the whole ground filet. It might be. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Doc, I need to increase that uh, Lipitor. Joey, you need to make a Lipitor mayo.
done this in 22 years I can't imagine how this has never happened I mean that's better than most steaks that's I've had in a restaurant that's all it needs is salt and pepper hey can you imagine perfect filet mignon chopped steak like a veal demi gloss with some onions in it shiitake mushrooms or something chipolini yeah they'd be lined up down the street <laughs> 